Howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm still testing. Trying something new today. And it's going to be this dude, Ezra Miller. This kid is something else. This is a little out of my, what I normally talk about with family courts, but everybody knows that family courts include a bunch of psychopaths. And no, I'm not a doctor, but it's kind of like that, that new movie that, that docs that, that's out called What is a Woman? I'm not a doctor, but I, I know what a woman is when I see one and I can pretty get pretty close when I see a psychopath and this Ezra Miller guy is a psychopath and I'm not claiming to know all the ins and outs that's I'm not like e entertainment or e online and I'm not even really into the gossip thing but we just got done watching this big gigantic charade of uh Johnny Depp and we saw his victorious win over the psychopath Amber Turd and Amber Turd was in the news today and she's already blaming, but not blaming typical gaslighting stuff, blaming, but not blaming the jury. And uh, I thought it was really comical, very predictable. You know, at the beginning, she's of this whole thing. She says, I just want to move on and I want Johnny to move on and look at me. I'm so loving and tender. And then now she's out in the in the press already saying I, I don't blame the jury but this wasn't fair now was it like come on lady give it up we all saw <laughs> wait we all saw but johnny was treated like absolute crap over one op-ed in the sun which i don't read the sun i mean i'm sure i've looked at an article or two in my lifetime and i, I know they're a big deal in certain parts of the world it's just not my thing I remember when that came out, it was oh years ago, but I also remember the blowback when it did come out of Warner Brothers canned him and Johnny being who Johnny is involved with the, the, uh, the Harry Potter franchise, which is owned by Warner Brothers. And they, they totally, well, almost totally to the best they could, they distanced themselves from Johnny or not. I mean, uh, JK Rowling the actual author that invented all things Harry Potter, which some would argue that possibly maybe she kind of ripped off Star Wars in a little bit of a way. If you get a chance, go uh, do the, the the Google search on that. That's kind of interesting. But anyways, Johnny was treated like absolute crap and being involved with Disney, Warner Brothers, you know, he lost the, the, the Grindelwald thing, and he lost the Pirates thing over a story, an al allegation. Um, anyway, y'all know what happened to Johnny stuff, but this Ezra Miller kid, he's 29 years old, and he's just got that look about him that there's just something not quite there. And a girl, Mandy, brought this up. She's working on a different project, and we're just I'd never heard of this. She said, oh, you got to look this guy up. He's like assaulting women all over the globe. And he's an actor and he like plays the flash for DC comics, the flash, like the dudes, like the flash, which again, I'm not a, I don't get into that sort of realm either. I did watch Deadpool. I thought it was hilarious. thought it was very well made. One of these days I'm going to prove that uh, Ryan Reynolds stole <laughs> The comedic talent of the 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 most talented sarcastic comic of our lifetime, which is you, Laurie. Anyway, I don't want to get on the side knowing that, but one of these days I'm going to prove it. He did it, and he really did. Oh, uh, Hugh Hugh Laurie's uh, character is House Dr. Gregory House on House MD. He stole it. I, I can prove it. And one of these days I'm going to just for fun. I'm going to I'm going to prove it because I just think the world of uh, Hugh Laurie. But anyways, I get off on these tangents and I, Ezra Miller, who is Ezra Miller? Oh my goodness. Someone already chipped in a $2 Norma Jean. Thank you so much. And who is Ezra Miller? Exactly. Who in the world is Ezra Miller? I've never heard of this guy, but apparently he's been around in Hollywood 
A-lister Hollywood for a long time. He himself played a character role in uh, the same Harry Potter spinoff, the, the, the Grindelwald stuff, with Johnny Depp. And we all saw what happened to Johnny, but this guy, I've got some clips and I'm testing. I'm testing my new, I'm not very good at this, but I'm, I'm getting better. I'm going to share a screen and good, 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 blah, go over to good old trusty TMZ. Those people are just those types where you just kind of love them or hate them. Or you kind of love them and hate them. But TMZ's got some of these clips of this dude and he's he's just bizarre let me see if i can get this on here there ezra miller like there's he's involved with this 18 year old adult now she's barely 18 and there's a word here that he can't say for whatever reason he's it looks like he's doing the that and this is her over here. But I'm trying to find videos. There's this really bizarre. Like the guy is. Yeah, right here. This is the one. He gets arrested sometime this year. And the cop, you know, of all people, I'm critical of cops. But this guy's being like really polite given the circumstances and oh man this is not working i think i messed this up because it's not playing the all right let me take that off and remove crud i'll try that again in a minute let me think about what i did Anyway, he gets arrested, and he's apparently... I don't even know if I can say this word. This, uh, the, the censorship is amazing. Uh, he was born just like uh, me and my boys. He had the same plumbing as us. And he gets on to this cop who's arrested. I mean, in one of the arrests, he's talking about, you know, please be careful with my hands. You know, he's like pleading with the guy. You know, don't, don't, don't ruin my hands. I, I got something happened to me when I was younger and I'm a musician, blah, blah, blah. And then they're in the car driving around and the cop's just being polite. And he calls him, sir, like a, kind of a polite thing to say, especially from the, if you're from the South. Yes, sir. I mean, I taught all my kids. Yes, sir. When you talk to a grown up, they, they like it. it. It's just how society is. Say, yes, sir. If you know, if, especially if they're being polite. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. But he he says something to him in return, and I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the video in a minute after I do a little more clicking around. There's a there's a there's a radio button that I missed somewhere, and I've anyways. And he gets all defensive and butt hurt. And since he is no longer identifies as a man, he identifies as one of the new things that apparently we're not supposed to talk about. But I'm gonna talk about it. And he starts threatening this cop with, uh, 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 I don't even know if I can say, I, I'll just, here, let me get back here. A hate crime? The H crime? The hate crime? I don't even know if he can say that. He starts threatening the cop with a hate crime for calling him sir. Like starts rattling off federal law. And, he, the, you know, the cop, you don't see his face, but. He's he kind of like he get gets kind of quiet and he's just like without being able to see his face, you can just tell he's like, What? I mean, of all things, I mean, I'm I'm just pretending I'm the guy of all things that people are gonna get on to me about. I'm being polite. He even said something to, to along the lines, I'm being polite. And he threatens him with a hate crime. And hate crimes, if I'm not mistaken are a uh, they're not just little misdemeanor slaps on the wrist you, there's like prison time with that what in the world has this world come to where being polite just talking and again i'm the number 
of all people, not number one, but of all people, I am openly critical of police. Like, I, I, I just am. And I, th I think we should be. However, <laughs> like the two rookie cops in the Parker movie, of all people, I'm normally a, a skeptic, but I've praised officers, Brand Officer Spinks and Rocha for, the, you know, nine years now. They showed up. They assessed the situation. They de-escalated it. And they left. I mean, if you're going to get on to police, at least have a reason to rally the troops behind to, as, as to why people who may be just a little skeptical, because I understand people are skeptical about put, being uh, critical of cops. I get it. I, like, I totally get it. I've, I grew up a Republican. Hello. I, I get it. I know why. And I'm fully aware that there are some police officers that do some good things sometimes. I fully get it. And even that's going to be char a, a charged uh, comment to some since I don't, you know, what, what we in my circle friends call, I'm not a bootlicker. I don't just praise them for doing their jobs. If they happen to do a good job on an individual basis, great. I'll, I'll, like I said, I literally pr uh, publish the not their personal mailing address. I wouldn't even do that. The the Odessa Police Department's address. If people wanted to write letters to them and thank them, and they did. Last I heard, they wrote a bunch of them back in the day. But uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg, though. There's this girl. I'm going to see if I, I'm going to try this again. That again, she's 18 now. That this Ezra Miller, who's now 29, has somehow been associated with. Um, go there, there, there. Well, it says share tab audio. Maybe I did have it right. Mm. Nope, I picked the wrong one. That's okay. I can still go there from there. Hold on. I'll get this. I used to panic on stuff like this, but I don't even care anymore. I'll just put Ezra R Miller, not 2011. And not images, go to all. I don't remember that girl's name. Tahoka, Dakota, to start to the T. T O something. There it is. This is just whack. Family claims actor Ezra Miller is controlling the team in a cult situation. I hope I can say that word. Yeah, Sarah Jumping Eagle. I think that's her mother. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this. Um, maybe in the future. Again, I'm just testing this, but over here on the right is The Flash, also known as... Ezra, the they, them, Miller. And on the left is this 18-year-old, apparently young woman now, that she's missing. And the kicker is, he's missing too. Good grief. All right, I'm just going to... That's kind of what I thought was going to happen with this. Be a lot of ads and pop-ups and stuff, but they're missing. And there's a, there's a beta whether or not this young girl, this one young woman's parents have even a legal authority because they're apparently a part of a Native American uh, tribe. And they've got, and again, I'm certainly not ex an, an expert on that. They've got their own uh, boundaries and borders, and they go by their own sets of laws from reservation laws dating back. We've all heard about that. But anyway, they're trying to serve this guy this Ezra Miller, this A-lister, this guy that apparently Warner Brothers seems to be uh, protecting for whatever reason, and they can't find him. I mean, I know people run from being served papers, but 
I mean, it's not like he's a just a, a Joe Blow. I mean, yes, I don't know who he, I didn't know who he was, and a lot of y'all are asking. You know, I don't know who who the hell's Ezra Miller, but you know, he's been in A list movies. I mean, he's he, you can't really hide when you're on that level. Not very well. I mean, you're eventually somebody's going to see you, but they, they're missing. And this just keeps getting more and more bizarre. But the most bizarre part about me is to, to me is I've I've got a certain circle of friends that I know on my Facebook page and I can't stand Facebook for reasons I've talked about. But there's are there are aspects of it that I do like because I, I've got friends there that I've, had, I've known for a very long time. Some I know in person I've met over over the years and some I haven't. I just we just know each other and I'm sure I'm not alone there. But I put a, a, a post out on my Facebook and just asked if anybody's heard of this Ezra Miller guy. And he's apparently run off with this young woman slash girl. And he's been uh, accused of and there's a fit. There's a, a video of this guy choking this, not her, but a different girl out in like Iceland. And then he was arrested in Hawaii. After assaulting some, I'm not supposed to, uh, maybe can't say the A word, but it, I did it. I didn't mean to, sorry. Um, they wound up getting restraining order. He broke in their house and like took their, 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 their passports and their wallets. And, and then they bailed him out again. I'm not, I, I don't know the, I, I, the I've, I've absorbed all this in the last 24 hours. But why is it this not like big top news? That that's what I don't get. Why in the world would Johnny Depp get booted from one of the arguably one of the most successful franchises in in Hollywood history, the Pirates movie, over an allegation and what the the Sun article from Amber Heard, and this guy has got an a, arrest record. You know, not a mile long, but I mean, he's not that old. He 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 couldn't have he couldn't have got a you know it can't be that long. He was arrested back in 2011 for having a bunch of marijuana on him. He was slapped with a like a slap on the wrist, five hundred dollar fine or something. And he made a movie back then, and I just finished watching the movie. It's called uh, We Need to uh, We Need to Talk About Kevin, and it is creepy. Like, really creepy. I'm going to put this up on, let's see. We need to talk about Kevin. That's the name of the movie. It came out in 2011. He was about, I guess, 17 when this was made. And maybe 18. But he plays the role of a uh, a 15-year-old who's three days away from his 16th birthday. And he winds up doing, again, you're just going to have to read between the lines here. He wound up doing a Columbine, and he didn't use the pew-pews. He used bows and arrows and locked all the students in. And that's towards the very end. But throughout the movie, you see him, you know, it, he plays his own character of, of Kevin from, you know, age, you know, 14, 15, 16. But you, there's, they got a baby to play when he's a baby. And they got a, a four-year-old to play when he's four. And they got a six-year-old to play when he was six to eight years old. And it's really, really creepy. He's, the, 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 the character is the child has got this, well, that's a hatred for his mom and the mom, you know, throughout the entire, the, uh, the entire movie, she's just baffled about why her, her son acts like this. And he does really awful thing. The older he gets, the more awful. I mean, he deliberately craps his pants until he's like seven or eight years old just to make her mad. And of course the father involved is a, a doofus, you know, because that's pretty much the norm these days with Hollywood. Any father figure doesn't have a spine. And if he does, you know, do something manly, then he's looked at as an idiot. 
And, you know, someone just goes off half cocked and, and it's certainly not sophisticated at all. Like everybody else should be, but he's actually played by the, uh, was it John C. Rye? Is that his name? The guy from Step Brothers. i never was a big Step Brothers fan. The boys loved it, but I just, I don't like that kind of comedy. I don't know why I just don't. And anyway, he plays the father and he's just totally oblivious, completely oblivious to why this kid at 15, almost 16 years, his own son uh, does all these bad things. And he winds up kind of basically blaming uh, the mom. And if you care to watch it, it's actually a pretty good show. It's kind of, I wasn't early in its, uh, it wasn't early in its, well, it came out in 2011. There's been those pew pews at education, public indoctrination centers for, you know, since 1990. What was it called about? 98, 99? Norma Jean, how is Parker? Um, Parker is fine. And I'm not sure if you're new here. It seems like I've seen your name before, but um, I just can't go into uh, the house Parker, how the kid stuff of. For one, if I give you the short answer, it's not probably not going to be satisfactory, which is he's fine. And B, uh, if, if I had to answer that every time that uh, uh, someone asked it, then everybody who's still listening here who's already heard how Parker is um, would get kind of bored. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's just it is what it is. I'm not I'm, I used to get like kind of aggravated when people ask that, but I understand, but it's fine. He's great. And all the kids are good. Um, he's a professional horse trainer and he's doing well. And Blaine and Hayden here live here with me in Florida. They're doing well. London's about to be 17. Blaney boy just turned 19. Everyone's doing good, but I cannot go into any more detail because they've asked me to, uh, they, they just, they enjoy their private lives and I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but I do appreciate people asking but i just can't talk about it anymore any more than that and one of these days one of these days there's some things coming up that uh again I've, i can say that you know will be obviously public and you know when those days come then i can talk about all i want to because everybody already know so anyways where was uh oh yeah ezra miller as kevin it was a pretty good show. It is real dark, which is fine. But it seems to me, after watching the TMZ videos of this Ezra Miller Miller guy uh, calling this cop out and threatening him, and of all things to threaten a cop with, you know, being offended by being called sir. Oh, good grief. I mean, what a spoiled little punk. And then on top of that, there's this one where he grabs this fan that just want to talk. And everyone thinks at first, it's kind of confusing when you watch it, he grabs her. And it's this is like just a, a TMZ type video. It's nothing from a movie. It's like real life. And he goes from fan, you know, or a, a Hollywood star, you know, talking to fans to angry. And he grabs her and he pull, shoves her to the floor. And then you can tell everyone around is like, Whoa, whoa, hang on, chill, whoa, bro. Like they were like, okay, maybe they were, maybe they were, he was, you know, sort of kind of pretending, you know, acting like from a movie, maybe people do that. And I get it, that's fine. But he took it too far and he was actually really pissed and he took her to the ground and, and then the camera goes away and it cuts. And it just seems like, this brat, this spoiled punk brat, Ezra Miller, sir. <laughs> what are you going to do? Sue me for hurting your tender feelings? <laughs> your public figure, brah. I can call you brah, too. That's what the kids use these days, brah. Your public figure, brah. Of all things to get irritated about people, is it? I mean, it just seems like he... I just watched that movie just now and it's 11 years old and it's about this psychopath. And then you see him in real life and he's apparently a psychopath. Oh, there's another TMZ video where he, there's somebody's filming from across the street 
and I'm just going to take this off. Somebody's filming from across the street and he's apparently being belligerent. And this young woman, this worker at this bar is kicked him out. And you see a few people walk by and he tries to be belligerent, go back in again. You see her go like push him back, like get the hell out. And then he apparently gets more belligerent. I think he gets arrested on that. But when you've got someone who's clearly in hinge, it just looks like when he, maybe he was born this way. Maybe he's got this sick fetish where he lives out his, that was that 2011. Uh, when you talk about Kevin, apparently that was his big break. Maybe he's just letting that fame go to his head. And with the craziness in the world, with all the pew pews at the public indoctrination centers, known as schools that are going on, which there's so many weird things. And I love conspiracy theories. Um, I won't get into a whole lot of it, but the Uvalde thing. I mean, that is just come on. You got all these armed men that were standing outside that escuela and did nothing. And parents were trying to get in there. I mean, these are, this is not, this isn't made up. This isn't the conspiracy. This is like on regular, you know, Normie News, CBS, NBC, Fox, you know, CNN. It was on Normie News. They're, they're arresting or, or detaining and even tasing parents who were just trying to get past and get in there and say their kid, they don't care if they get, you know, whacked. I mean, I mean, they don't want to, obviously, but they want to save their child. And what, 19, 20 people? perished i don't know and then warner brothers like straight up not say anything but if you dig a little deeper find out that this there's a new again i don't keep up with all the marvel stuff and all the dc stuff i know there's they're different i get that uh batman's dc and everything's typically darker and Marvels, all the you know big flashy superheroes, whatever, and they're fine. They're they're not bad, and I'm not bashing them. I'm just, it's just not my thing per se. I, I can watch one occasionally, like Hulk. I mean, they're cool to watch. The CGI, it's it's cool to watch. But apparently, Warner Brothers has already in, is already in post production of a new DC Comics World uh, movie a high dollar movie with millions of dollars. They've already filmed it. The actors have done their deal, got paid, you know, the crew, the, the editors, the filmmakers, the everybody involved, they've got millions tied up in this and it's not supposed to be released for about either the end of this year or first of next year. They've got a lot of money on the line, like a lot of money on the line. Because it's already done, it's already filmed, and then they're taking a shellacking with the, you know, with the Johnny Depp stuff. Because Johnny kind of pee peed in everybody's Cheerios, and he won. He challenged the psychopath, and Johnny won. And that it just looks like that wasn't supposed to happen, but it happened. And I love it when that happens. When the underdogs win, I just love it when the underdogs win. But this Ezra Miller guy has got a rap sheet a mile long of being belligerent, of assaulting women. And I bet you most people, I haven't been watching the comments, but I bet you most of you, uh, I bet you most of the people in here have, uh, have never even heard of this guy. I read a couple of them like, who, who's, who's this guy? Hey, Larry, can you give your email address? Sure. Crankmycat at gmail.com. I'll just. Uh, I usually put it in the uh, description. Man, I've got to get my glasses. And I'll put that up there. That is my email. If y'all want to send me anything and everything that you've got on this Ezra Miller guy. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of, I know a lot of you hadn't even heard of it and you should have, because you, you got to ask these questions. Uh, if you know, if you have heard of this Ezra Miller guy, maybe you know something that, you know, isn't out yet. I'm going total gossip girl on this guy. 
if you've got something, send that to me, you know, email it to me. Uh, be interesting to dig this up because, again, this isn't just by chance. This guy's got an arrest record. Johnny in the old days may have an arrest record, maybe one, maybe. But if he did, it, to the best of my knowledge, it's really old. And he's made lots of movies since then, and no one really cared. But this guy's got a rap sheet. Like it, there's, I know of at least three or four arrests, and there, there's probably more. And these aren't just, you know, you know, simple thing like, you know, hold a joint or something. This is like attacking people that you just can't do. You just can't attack people. You cannot provoke that and attack people. I don't care how angry you are, or angry you get. You just can't do that. And that's what this guy's done. And why have most, that's what I was saying earlier on my, on my Facebook, people, these people I've talked to, none of them knew who he was. Like who, what? Like people that I know that kind of follow stuff like this, maybe not Hollywood per se, but these strange things like why, would this A-list a -list actor be protected by, I mean, I'm not saying they did, but it just kind of looks that way versus Johnny. Why would they just attack him and just attempt to ruin his career? And so they've never even heard of him. Oh, let's see. I hope this is good. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's, Caleb, I wanted to ask about your opinion on the, on all the Amber Alerts that have been issued recently. I get Amber Alerts from everywhere, including Texas. I know it's Texas when I hear the siren from WBAP uh, from Otimo Hashaki. Um, is this a joke? Because every, I mean, we all know that Amber Alerts have got a whole new meaning now because of Amber Heard. Um, I don't get Amber Alerts anymore. I'm aware of what they are. Um, it's like with anything else that goes mainstream. People, it, it starts out with a good intention and then like, I can't be in my wherever I'm at and get an Amber Alert for somebody 3,000 miles away and have my phone blowing up all the time. I turn mine off. Maybe that's that sounds crappy, but uh, why would it, why would they send me a text on an Amber Alert on on somebody that's 3,000 miles away when I have absolute I can uh, the odds of me knowing anything anybody. I don't know. Again, it's, it may sound callous, but you, I, I, I already get some, I mean, just what was it? Not last time, but a couple of days ago, three days ago when I was live, I had that one troll that just kept ding dong. They, I mean, I get so many dings. I can't keep up with it anyways. And I just wind up answering the guy, but. Okay. He says, uh, no, this isn't a joke. I know. There was one in Texas where it was an abduction and homicide. I mean, I, I get it. I, 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 I haven't got it. I'm not even in Texas anymore. I'm in central Florida. So, I mean, um, you know, that's the, the bad thing about things that happen like this is they happen every single day and have since the beginning of time. The only difference now is... There's cameras everywhere and broadcasters and they show you what they want you to see and they don't show you what they don't want you to see. And the sensationalism, though, in certain areas, like with the Johnny case, in my opinion, it was worthy of it because it wasn't supposed to get that big, it seems to me. Um, a single actor isn't supposed to take on the system and win. So, um, well, I do too. He says, I just feel bad for all the cheerings that were, I know I do too. And uh, again, that's unfortunately one of those things that happens every single day in probably every single state and has every single day that every single one of us has been alive and yet, how upset are we supposed to get? I mean, I don't know her, neither do you. Yes, it is a very sad story. It's, you know, it's kind of like with 9-11. That was a, a horrible thing that we all witnessed. It was just the most tragic thing, especially at the time, 
the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. At the same time, lots of things like that happen. Yes, maybe not quite on that scale, but one life, 3,000. To me, a life is a life, and it's always sad. But pe bad things happen to good people every day, and you know, I don't just fall apart unless I know them. If I was close to them, like if it ever, you know, knock on wood, I hope it never does. If it ever happened to one of my own kids, um, if it ever did happen to them, obviously I'm going to be heartbroken, devastated because I know them. But again, these bad things happen all the time. I mean, the whole point of me even bringing any of this other stuff is not the bad thing that happened to this girl because it's bad enough as is. My portion, my contribution, my whole reason I'm even bringing this, uh, this up is because this psychopath, Ezra Miller, acts like he's invincible. He's got, apparently he's got some money. I mean, he's been in Hollywood for over 10 years. I'm sure he's got some money unless he squandered it all, but I'm sure he's got some money because he's still making movies. There's still at least two of them that I know of that are pending. That apparently, you know, it would be bad press if the world went after him like they went after Amber Heard, whoever made the the uh, Aquaman. I, I don't even know who made it. Might have, might have been Warner Brothers. I, I really don't know. Whoever made Aquaman, they, you know, they they had to go through. You know, they they cast her a long time ago in Aquaman one, which I never saw, and then they cast her in part two, and then it got cut back to ten minutes, and then five minutes, and then the last I heard, they had to cut her completely out. Well, there's costs there. You can't just clip it out, clip it out. You got to change that. You change the story up, and you have to. There's a lot of editing. I'm sure I, without actually being there and being a, that kind of film editor, which I, obviously I'm not. I've done enough editing. You pull a whole main character out, then, or even if it's just a, a main side character, you pull them out, you, you, that changes the story because the character was in there for a reason. Sometimes they're there just for comic relief, but sometimes they, they're there for a reason. And if that person wasn't there, then it kind of changes the whole story. You know, it's like taking Hermione Granger out of the Harry Potter series in the last movie. You can't. It's it's called Harry Potter. Harry Potter's the main guy, but Hermione, it wouldn't be Harry Potter, the story as we know it, if in the last movie they pulled Hermione Granger out. Because what's her name? Emma Emma was it Watson? Like if she would have, you know, gone off the rails back then. It just wouldn't have been Harry Potter as we know it. And if they would, but they'd already had all the production. They'd already had this. That'd have been film number eight. They'd got all these A-listers, and they, everybody's paid. There's a gigantic budget. They had to go with it. And if they were to had to pull her out, there's will be a lot of costs. So to pull this Ezra Miller twit, this sir, this dude, this man out of the role of the Flash in a multi-million dollar. Uh, movie would be very, very, very expensive. Again, I see why they wouldn't want to do it because I mean, like I'm, I'm a, I'm a capitalist. I, I, I see they, they want to get their money back, and they will get their money one way or another. They're going to get their money out of this. That's a nasty, nasty cutthroat business, and they will get their money. The just to me, the difference is the the different treatment. Why this guy with the rap sheet a mile long can do what he did and continues to do and now is missing. The dude is literally missing. And he's still, they're still scheduled. Last time I checked, they're still scheduled. Why Warner Brothers? Why why the 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 different treatment? That's what I'd like to know. Ezra Miller turning into reverse flash. Like what? Flash and he's gone. Mandy Bobandy. Hey, Caleb, make me a mod if you don't have one on here. Okay. I, I've done that. However, I've not yet done that. When I first started doing mods, I have to do it on the back end. And now that I'm using my, um, StreamYard. I don't know how to do add mods. 
Um, but I will. Harry, Ron, Hermione of the main three. What is a movie without all the main three? Exactly. No, I don't believe so. His childhood seems extremely normal. His parents seem to be normal. He has two older sisters. Oh, you're all talking about Ezra. Uh, yes. You blasphemer, Mandy. You said he. He has two older sisters. I do know how to do this. Okay. Uh, hang on. I'm going to pull something up here. I'll just leave this off. Okay, that's what I can do. While I'm doing my search here, y'all y'all can see me, but not the stuff I'm doing. Ezra Miller Wiki. Y'all got to see this. Okay, now go back to my stream yard. There you go. Add to stream. All right, cool. I've got Ezra Miller's Wiki. And you just got to see how bizarre this is. When Mandy, Mandy, Bo Bandy mentioned he had two older sisters. I'm going to read this exactly as it states here on uh, Ezra Matthew Miller's wiki page. Here under early life. Ezra Matthew Miller was born in Wyckoff, New Jersey on September 30th, 1992, period. They have two older sisters named Saya and Caitlin. They. I was taught that it's a singular male. He has Two older sisters named Sai and Caitlin. Not they have two older sisters named Sai and Caitlin. And I don't have it pulled up in front of me. Okay, yeah, here's it. I'll just read just a little bit more. Their mother, Marta Miller, uh, Nay Coke, I don't know how you say that, is a modern dancer. Their father, his, their father, Robert S. Miller, was senior vice president and managing director of Hyperion Books and later became a publisher at Workman publishing. Miller's father is Jewish, whereas the mother is a Christian and Dutch and German descent. Miller, Miller self-identifies as Jewish and quote-unquote spiritual. At the age of six, he started to go to, an op to train as an opera singer in order to overcome his speech impediments. Oh, see? See what I just did there? Without even you know, I squint to, I said he. I misread it. It says they. At the age of six, they started to train as an opera singer in order to overcome a speech impediment. I happen to have stumbled across. I've got it tagged. I've got it marked somewhere. I just don't know how to pull it up here on the fly. Maybe I will later. Um, I'll get certainly get this for Mandy later. But I found the article where this exact paragraph came from in early life i found it and it's not written with this they shit they said he because the dude was born with a with junk with the dude was born with a with a peter <laughs> he's born with a with with a rooster and uh, they basically, well, they had that, and basically, they straight up this exact. And I know that's what Wiki does, you know, at the bottom, that's what all the, or, you know, that's what all the, if I can get to the bottom, you know, all the references, but they changed it. I mean, it's one thing to quote somebody and then, you know, give their exact, you know, where it came from. Oh, hell, I didn't, I didn't think about this. I'll just, uh, Well, they've got all these different references. See, they've got reference one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way through 16. And this one goes back to four. And then 10, 17, 18, 19. They make all these references in this early life when, 
you know, I, I could go down to the bottom. I'm not going to, but you can refer, you can go see where they got all this. But I literally found this exact paragraph. This is not some author, some mod of, of wiki that came up with this and did. I know it's not. I, I read it because I'd already read or I actually didn't read this. I read the original first and then happened to stumble across the wiki. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. No, I think you're trying to trick me. Are you trying to trick me? No, I'm not going to do that. Because I do have people do that. I don't know if you're a practical joke or not. Anyways, so this is just straight up. I wouldn't call it plagiarism, really. I mean, that's all Wiki is. It's just copying links to, to find out about somebody. But anyways, back over to StreamYard. That's going to remove that. He coming says the family claims he's leading a cult. Yeah, and it would that that even gets even more weird because the family, the the parents of this girl, this eighteen year old woman, uh, apparently they're far left wing radicals. From what I've read, from what I can hear, and I saw some tweets that the mom put out when they're trying to find her, and the daughter, she's going public saying she's embarrassed by her parents and think her parents are being absolutely ridiculous to be concerned about her. Well, that's a typical teenager behavior, uh, I guess. But now the mom is tweeting, looking for her missing daughter, tweeting about it. And straight up mentions with Ezra Miller. And she's tagging me, poo. I mean, me too. And she's tagging Warner Brothers in it. Show the likes of uh, Hillary Clinton come to mind. Everyone knows what happens when you cross a powerful person like Hillary Clinton. You wind up having fifty-six former inexplicable deaths of friends. Hope y'all are reading between the lines. I, I suspect this this is getting really nasty. And I think heads are going to roll. I don't obviously don't have any inside information anywhere, but Amanda Franklin E. Cummings, this story is so weird that it wouldn't surprise me at all. My heart breaks from for the parents, whatever problems they may have. It hurts so much not to know where your babies are. Yeah, but even get this. That's even what makes it even more weird is, yeah, she's 18 now, but Everywhere I've seen, apparently the parents years ago when the daughter was only 12, bought her a plane ticket and flew her basically solo to London, England to meet this back then 22, 23 year old Ezra Miller. Who does that? Who does that? Like mind blown. Who does something like that? Who sends their 12-year-old to meet some Hollywood actor and a young one at the at that full of piss and wind? Ugh. They did this story just gets more and more disgusting and disturbing the more as it goes on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pushing 50 minutes and Kids, I'm going to be real honest with you. It is very hot today. We didn't get our afternoon shower or afternoon rain today, and it's significantly hotter back here. And I'm about to, I think I'm about to pass out. So, um, if you, um, if you know anything about this Ezra Miller, you got any interesting links? This y'all y'all hearing it live, but a lot of people don't hear it until it goes on my channel. And all of these comments, where is that? These comments over here, the they uh, the the comments don't transfer over. I don't know why, but they don't. Uh, you can no, you can't put links. And I'm gonna have to look into that. I forgot it set for the longest time. 
but my kids are grown now, so I don't guess it really matters. I can change. I might be able to change the settings on my new stuff where you can actually put links in there. But worst case, uh, you can always uh, email me, crankmycat at gmail.com. If you've got any interesting uh, tidbits on this Ezra Miller douchebag, um, this dude needs to be on milk cartons or the modern equivalent of milk cartons. Because there's something that doesn't add up, and we shall see. Nordine K. Lever, Ezra Miller identifies as non-binary. It is no one's business how they identify. It's not, and it's not also not his anyone's business on how he gets offended for other people saying words. I totally get you can be whatever you want. I have no problem with someone becoming trans. Like, I really don't. I don't care. I really don't. That's where that's the part where me, I, I separate uh, one of those parts where I separate myself from the Republicans. I, I really don't care. I'm like pro weed. I'm pro sex work. If that's what you want to do, I get it that that's work. I am as for supporting everyone having equal rights, including gay people, as anyone you'll ever meet. But getting offended and wanting to put a police officer in prison potentially for saying sir because your feelings got hurt because he used the wrong goddamn pronoun i don't think so no that is not fair you don't get to dictate to how everyone else walks on fucking eggshells around you just because you don't have control of your own feelings people call me names all the time yes a lot of people praise me and say i'm a great dad or whatever but a lot of people a lot of people i literally have montages of videos of people who've called and left me nasty horrible voicemails telling me what a sorry parent i am and do you see me whining and crying threatening uh you know prosecution for you know, hate crime but people talking to me like that no you don't because i've got what a lot of american men in this country don't have anymore and it's called a set of balls I can control my own emotions. I'm not going to get, like, I rarely ever get offended. I, anyone can get in this comment section, live or after, after it goes and it's not live anymore, and call me whatever you want. You can say whatever you want about my kids, because believe me, I've already read it all. And you know how upset I'm, you know how much sleep I'm going to lose over that much? None. Big, fat, zero, goose egg, zilch, nada. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I mean, again, if you want to trans, trans yourself, you want to, if you feel like that's what you want to do with your body, by all means, I think you should do it. You should follow your dreams. Leave the kids out of it. If kids aren't old enough to make a decision on be to be responsible enough with a pew pew. What the hell makes you think they're old enough to be responsible enough to know the, the, the consequences, the potential, even unknown consequences of taking medication to change who they are? Be at least be consistent. I mean, again, if you're going to if you want to do that to yourself and, and trans over that or convert over or whatever, go right ahead. But at least and if you're going to defend them, that's fine, too. But be prepared if you're not consistent with your arguments. There's going to be enough people like me that we just uh, no, no. You 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 get kids involved in this. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. No, I'll I'll never go along with that. I'll never be okay with that. And if that costs me viewers, then so be it. I really don't care because I'm not going down that path of crossing that line. Sorry. <sighs> I'm about to have to get off y'all. I am hot. Tori McFarland, the problem is they think uh, you have to be outspoken if you support something or you are called something bad. Me as a libertarian feel you can support things without running around showing your support. Yes, you can support something without being a virtue signaler. That was one of my biggest problems with the Black Lives Matter. I thought when it started out, it was an awesome idea. And it still is an awesome idea, but when it got corrupted and every white girl and their mom had to just go and broadcast just how much they support Black Lives Matter, they had to knock on every door and find, hey, guess what, guess what? Hey, 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 guess what? I support Black Lives Matter. See how white I am? That's when it gets absolutely ridiculous. That just, 
it's just foolish and silly. And not to mention all this Black Lives Matter, the organization people that just so happen to wind up with a bunch of mansions. Man, the hypocrisy just knows no bounds when you get a little bit of power. The kids getting surgery are coming of age and some are changing their minds and there's not there's no going back. It's very sad. It is. Amanda Franklin, it is very, very sad. It's uh, like a check valve. It's one way only. There's no fixing it. Again, there's a documentary out right now called What is a Woman? And apparently that's a controversial question. If you would have. For you young people, y'all would know, but we grew those of us that grew up in the 80s and 90s, if you would have told us back then that there were in 2022, you know, 25, 30 years from now, there's going to be a controversial documentary called What is a Woman? We would have all, the entire world, I would dare say even uh, Republicans and Democrats alike would be like, what in the world are you talking about? How in the world can that possibly be controversial? Yet, here we are. All right, kids, we're closing in on the full hour, and I'm sweating, and I'm going to pass out. So um, y'all have a good day. Enjoyed it. Uh, if you got any use out of this, if you enjoyed this, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, again, I'm branching off, trying something new. Um, I'm not going to go full-blown gossip type stuff, but when it ties into, you know, Johnny and psychopaths, you know, things that you know, Johnny in the court, you know, dealing with psychopaths, things that I've got personal experience with. It's interesting to me. It's just, I'd like to hear what y'all think. So y'all take care. Bye.